Hello, I am Chesom and welcome to Chesom's delicious kitchen channel. Today I am very excited to share my all-time favorite garlic bread with tomato, avocado and mozzarella mix salad. Trust me, it's very easy to prepare at home and you will love it. First, I am adding 1 tablespoon of sugar, 1 tablespoon of salt and 50 grams of unsalted butter. Adding butter to bread dough tenderizes the crumb and adds flavor. Now adding 250 milliliters of hot water. Hot water helps to dissolve sugar and salt first, as well as to melt the butter too. Let it dissolve properly and mix together. Before adding dry yeast, adding 250 milliliters of cold water so that it won't be too hot. Now, I really need to mix well and let it activate the yeast. I am going to add 4.5 cups of all-purpose flour. Slowly, I am mixing and being gentle is most important. I loved mixing dough by hand and has many benefits. It lets you control the dough's consistency so you can get the texture you want. Kneading dough engages your senses. You can feel it, smell it and watch it change. This helps you learn how to handle dough better and make better baked goods. Hand mixing makes sure all the ingredients are evenly spread out so your food tastes great. Plus, it's relaxing and reduces stress. Overall, mixing dough by hand gives you more control, engages your senses and helps you become a better baker all while being a calming and satisfying experience. If you really want to have a perfect dough like mine, Please do not skip any steps. Now, my dough looks soft. When it comes to resting, I always take a wet clean cloth and cover it. After that, resting at room temperature is very important until it doubles in size. While the dough is resting, I love preparing salad and it's my all-time favorite. I use different colored cherry tomatoes to make it look more interesting, but you can use regular red ones as well. I usually like to cut the tomatoes in half, which makes them look even more appealing. As for the quantity, it totally depends on your preference. I take one ripe avocado and mash it with a fork. Avocados are delicious fruits rich in healthy fats and packed with nearly 20 different vitamins and minerals. People who regularly consume avocados tend to have higher intakes of fiber, vitamins E and K, magnesium and potassium compared to those who do not eat them. I am adding mini balls of mozzarella. Mozzarella is rich in potassium, iron, sodium and chloride. It also provides 18% of your daily calcium needs in just one serving. Another beneficial ingredient in mozzarella is phosphorus, a mineral that enables your body to utilize calcium effectively. Additionally, mozzarella is packed with protein. Now I am squeezing half of a lemon. Lemons contain about 50 mg of vitamin C, which is over half the amount needed in your daily diet. I am taking half a lemon, that means I am ingesting approximately 25 mg of vitamin C. Vitamin C is an antioxidant that helps protect cells from damage. Additionally, it aids in collagen production for skin health, facilitates iron absorption and supports the immune system. To make it more delicious, I am adding one tablespoon of olive oil, black pepper, salt and mixing it. You can see how delicious it looks. I highly suggest you to try in this way. At the same time, please don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell button. Once again, it's time to play with the dough after letting it rest for 30 minutes. It has doubled in size and is perfect for baking. Slowly, I am dividing it into two portions so that I can later make two lovely garlic breads. Moreover, when it comes to garlic breads, having them a little thinner and longer than usual is most important. With the help of a roller, now roll your dough until it becomes a round shape like mine. I loved playing with the dough and it feels so soft and stretchable. After playing and pushing here and there for a while, my dough's thickness has become around 1cm. 
The next step is to pull from one side and then start folding and rolling forward until the end. At the end, it should look like a long, thin, round shape. Just try to close each open side and make it all uniform and presentable in appearance. I have already placed it inside the baking tray and, with the help of a knife, cutting the dough into slight lines. What I suggest is to never cut your dough in straight lines as it doesn't look presentable. Before baking your bread, it's important to give it a nice egg wash on top. This is because it makes things look good by giving them a shiny golden crust. Additionally, it helps keep pastries and bread from falling apart while they bake. Plus, it adds flavor and richness to the food. It also helps things like seeds stick to the surface, making them crunchy and tasty. Next, I am following the same steps as before. Now, bake for 5 to 7 minutes at 190 degrees Fahrenheit, 88 degrees Celsius. While the bread is baking in the oven, mix garlic, confit, butter, salt together and crush it properly. When the bread is halfway baked, using a knife to follow the same process as before to cut it slightly. After that, applying the garlic butter inside the bread where it was cut before and applying it overall again. After applying the garlic butter, placing it back into the oven for 10 minutes. However, it's always better to keep an eye on the oven and the bread to prevent burning or getting an underbaked result later on. Here is the final result and it looks so delicious just by the smell alone. I already know it's going to taste amazing, but if you want to experience how delicious it is, you can try making it at home. It's a very simple and healthy recipe. Thank you for watching my videos and I kindly request all viewers to subscribe to my channel and don't forget to hit the bell button. For those interested in trying this recipe, please don't hesitate to visit my kitchen dashboard. I've put in extra effort to make your work easy and to ensure you have all the necessary quantities and ingredients to follow my recipe accurately.